Living nations are recognized through the protection of symbols attributed to their heroes, but it is the biggest tragedy of Islam that signs attributed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa were raised in 1924 25 under an international and colonial conspiracy. The destruction of these holy sites belonging to the Islamic world began on 8 Shawal, 1344 Hijra, which was 1924, with the desecration of the holy shrines of the forefathers of the Holy Prophet The mothers of the faithful, his pious companions and his holy progeny, and above all, the raising of all the holy shrines, including shrine of Fatun Jannah, Hazrat Fatima Zahra Salam Allah in Jannatul Baqi and Jannatul Mawla that has arranged the place of birth and place of residence of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the homes of the companions of the Holy Prophet and all memorials of the rise of Islam. How ironic then that the symbol of their own forefathers al tarin near Riyadh and al Darin in Saudi Arabia, which was the ancestral places of the Saudi family, and the center of their ideology was declared an international heritage site in 2010 through UNESCO, and billions were spent to safeguard these places forever. Special plans were prepared for the protection of the places from where the message of Sheikh Muhammad Ibn Abu Wahab was spread. While all symbols from the place where the message of Muhammad Arbi sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, his progeny and his companions were spread have been removed. Saudi Arabia including the lighting tower house of Jeddah into the international heritage list in 2014. But in the same year wiped out the signs of the holy prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam's place of birth. Above all, the Saudi government is busy in securing the signs of Matane Saleh, the signs of Kome Samud. These buildings have also been declared international heritage by UNESCO. Whilst this is the role of Ali Saud, the role of international organization is no less hypocritical. According to UNESCO's own definition, International heritage is the legacy of the past with which we are living today and that we have to transfer to our future generations. According to announcements about the sites made by UNESCO during the last 70 years, these belong to humanity, whilst castles and houses of Abdul Wahab, Najdi and Ali Saud elders are international heritage International organizations give no importance of the memorials of the founder of Islam, Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. UNESCO is concerned about the Taj Mahal turning yellow, but has no concern about Islamic heritage. When ISIS occupied the remnants of a Assyrian civilization of Nimrah city and started wiping out the same, the Director General of the International Organization of Protection of Symbol, Arena Bokova, termed the steps taken by terrorists as the collapse of cultural heritage and started a campaign, Unite for Heritage. The objective of which was to save international heritage, which comprised of symbols of non-Muslim civilization of Syria and Iraq from terrorists. Unfortunately, there was defining silence 
deafening silence when the symbols of Islamic civilization were destroyed in Saudi Arabia. The international movement launched from the platform of Tariq Nafaz of Kajafia for the restoration of the dignity of Islamic symbol on Saudi soil, including Janat al and Janat al and is not limited to any Muslim or Maktab, nor is it against any Maktab, Muslim or country. Its objectives are supremacy and restoration of human values that are under threat from fanatic terrorists sponsored by colonialists and to save Shair Allah. The assets of Islam that are invaluable assets of all those Muslims who consider al Pious Abba Kabar and Umatul Mumineen as a source of guidance. The movement for the restoration of the dignity of the holy places of Jannatul Baqi and Jannatul Mawalla is actually a movement for driving a world confronted with the worst of war and conflicts toward the destination of peace which every human being without any discrimination on the basic of Muslim religion and country and to ensure a peaceful and safe world for the next generations. Yomain Hidame Janat al not only reminds us of the destruction of Muslim holy sites, but also unveils the international standing conspiracy to divide Muslims. The colonial powers, by finishing the Sultanate of Osmania, not only discontinued the political centralization of Muslims, but rather laid the foundations for Muslim anarchy by trampling the symbols of the Muslim spiritual center, Arman Shifan, which is still ongoing. Whether it is occupation of Muslim Qiblai Awal, bloodshed of Muslim leaders, sowing the seeds of terrorism to pose terrorists as Muslims, or dividing Muslim powers further in the garb of American Arab Islamic Alliance, the purpose of all these conspiracies is to put the Shammai Tawheed off. The foundation for which was laid through the destruction of Islamic symbols on Saudi soil. In short, Muslims the world over are suffering the worst result of the des desecration and insult to the Shair Allah. If the Muslim desire to come out from the stanic net and overturn the colonial conspiracies then as a first step, they will have to restore the dignity of the holy shrines of Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam ala bati ataha. Pious Sahab Akbar and their related symbols in Saudi Arabia. They must give up the habit of imposing their beliefs on each other. Give up interfering in one another countries and be allowed the power to veto at the United Nations. They need to stop incidents of trampling of human rights in the Muslim states of Arab and non-Arab, including Bahrain, Yemen, Syria, Afghanistan, Libya. Present a practical example by following the present a practical example by following the model of human rights in the light of the teachings of the Holy Prophet, and display practical unity as it is the goal of the Yomi in Adam Janatul Bukh. The Islamic world continued to step deeper in the swamp of humiliation and defamation while it continues ignoring this goal. Supporting the call of Janatul Baki for the restor restoration of the dignity and honor of Shair Allah guarantees success, welfare, dignity and honor of the Muslim nation. Thanks for it.